Hi Aquarius, this will be your reading for that last week of October 2022, and that will be from the 21st through to the 31st of October. And I have already done October and November's readings, but I was pulled to do this, and so there must be messages that need to get out there for that last week. So this will be for the sign of Aquarius, and I have bought a new deck. I bought a new deck, and I'm trying it out. Um, I have some good things to say about it and some not so good things to say. The deck that I bought is the call, is called the Fort, uh, Forest of Enchantment. Beautiful deck, illustrations are absolutely magnificent, very detailed, and that's kind of like my style. I like that type of reading because, or that type of card because it gives you a lot of information in each individual card and doesn't rely on the wording, okay? So every, um, Everything that you pull from the cards will be based on your your thought process, okay? And it's different for everyone. So that's what I like about it. It's so varied. So now what I did is I pulled three cards. Um, pulled three cards for you. And the first card that I pulled is the Child of Spells. Now, here comes the negative part of the cards or the part that I don't like. The print is very, very tiny and you will see. So this is the child of spells i have to look at it so this is the card i'll show you straight up because yours is reversed but look at the print on the on the bottom how tiny it is now when i pull it back that's how small it is so it's hard and the pictures are very faint but they're very whimsical but they're very realistic and so i like that i like that when i put it up close to the screen it's easy to see it but the wording at the bottom is very very hard to see when you first look at the cards you have to kind of focus right so so you have the child of spells and yours is reversed. So the child of spells is basically uh, the page of wands in a normal deck. So it talks about you getting a message, okay? And it's a very quick energy with this message. So it might be from a fire sign individual. It might be from a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. But it's a very quick message that's coming in, okay? Now, it also talks about... Um, impulsivity okay and a lack of concentration on someone's part now there's someone in your life perhaps who acts like a child okay who has very immature feelings and almost like they can't control their anger they like to hear themselves self-talk and they don't like when others don't pay attention to what message they're trying to get across so they're very impatient and they're impatient with people who are slow acting or slow moving okay now it does talk about uh, paperwork being lost or mishandled mishandled in some way and it might have to do with a fire sign individual okay but this information is coming in via uh, phone or text or email message or maybe even um, uh, hotmail or whatever it's called okay but it could even be a skype message some type of message that's coming to you very quickly so i mean what's the quickest method of um i mean it'd be like in my day it would be what telegrams so it's a very quick message it's going to come to you very quick with very sporadic type of information okay now you're not getting the information that you need. So you mightn't be getting all the facts, okay? And it talks about perhaps you having to check out the facts behind a situation because someone isn't really completely trustworthy, okay? And they perhaps have been hiding something from you. And indeed, Aquarius, you're finding out the truth about this, okay? Now, the next card that I pulled, <laughs> it's so hard to see these, is once again reversed and it is the Two of Visions. So the Two of Visions equates to the Two of Cups in a normal deck. I'll show you the picture when it's straight up. And once again, I mean, you can see it at the bottom, okay, Two of Visions. But when I put it back to like where your vision would actually be, it's hard to see it, right? It's hard to see it. So there's two people in this card. There is a, a lady with light colored hair and a lady with dark hair. Yours is reversed. So it's almost like there's an imbalance of um, maybe your yin and your yang and your personalities, okay? There's the good and there's the bad. There's the, the outspoken person, but then there's the person that kind of is very inward thinking, okay? So you're trying to balance both faculties of your personality. And it talks about there's hesitance and deciding, perhaps... Perhaps you got this message from someone and you're finding out that someone wasn't really 
truthful with you, okay? And you're kind of ambivalent in your in your belief. It's you're kind of like you don't know whether to believe that this person would actually lie to you, or you you don't know whether to believe that this person would actually do something um, that would kind of like pull the wool over your eyes, okay? So you're kind of like you're a little bit hesitant in believing a uh, situation. So maybe you're getting this information from a third party. Maybe you're getting this information from someone that you don't trust. But the truth is, okay, you're getting the facts. You're getting the facts and you're getting the truth. And you're going to have to deal with that. So that's why it has that kind of like topsy-turvy uh, type of energy taking place with that reversed card. Now, I just talk about someone being offered a job, offered a job at a distance in a new place, okay? And it talks about impacting uh, someone else. That decision is going to impact someone else in um, that circle of energy, whether it be your partner, whether it be your family member, it could be you that got offered a job, it could be someone that you know, or someone that you care about, that, uh, that got offered a job. If it's your partner, perhaps you're not ready to move, perhaps you're not ready to move to a new location to accommodate this person's uh, new job. Maybe you want to move, maybe you want to move and your partner doesn't want to move, or maybe you're in a family situation and maybe you have children and maybe your children aren't prepared to move, okay? Maybe they're in their last year of high school and they're thinking, okay, I don't want to go, mom and dad, I don't want to go, I want to stay here, I want to finish my high school here, right? So you have this kind of, you're kind of torn in making a decision at this point in time, okay? And perhaps you're not even willing to compromise or there might be someone in your life who's not willing to compromise and that might be a fire sign individual. Now it does talk about you being interested in some type of reconciliation with someone in your life that perhaps you pulled away from. You pulled your energy away from them at one point because you didn't believe them. You didn't believe them. You didn't trust them. You didn't want to have a connection with them. So you pulled away. You closed that door. And now you're kind of thinking, geez, was I wrong? Was I too quick in doing this? And you're re-looking at things. You're re-looking at things and you're kind of like going over things in your mind and you're thinking like, did I make the right choice? Was I right in, in um, you know, breaking off that connection to this person in my life, okay? And maybe you're interested in talking to them or trying to form that connection again, but, and maybe they are, maybe they wanna have a connection with you too, but nobody can seem to make that first step and that's usually somebody, somebody has to make that first step, okay? Now, it does talk about um, a lot of things that are dealing with partnerships. So there might be someone in your life who, like I said, maybe they got, got offered a job and they're getting that quick communication or they're sending you a message saying, you know what, I got offered a job, so uh, be prepared because I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to take it, right? And so you're going through this, all this energy. You're not ready to go. You're not ready to give up what you have at this point, okay? Now, it could even talk about moving across the country or moving out of country, okay? So the very last card that you have is the Weaver of Spells. And the Weaver of Spells in a normal deck would be the Queen of Wands. And once again, that would be a fire sign individual. So you have a lot of impulsive energy here, okay? You have quick moving energy. And it's almost like, you know, you're not even given the opportunity to be able to think if indeed you're ready for this or you're prepared for it. Or maybe, maybe you got offered a job or someone in your life got offered a job and they're being told they need an answer like lickety split. They need an answer very quick. So you're not being given uh, the time that you need to come to, um, to a conclusion. <clears throat> but the Queen of Wands stands for someone who's very warm and energetic and sincere, very intelligent, okay, very ambitious and speaks their mind, very creative and very artistic. It talks about someone who tolerates no limits on what they can do. The, the world is their oyster and they're, they're under this belief that, you know what, if you want something, you have to work for it and you have to go for it. You can't just sit on your haunches. You have to actually try, right? So it can stand um, a signifier for um, a mentor, a friend, um, a close confidant, even a mother. It could be a mother or it could be someone in a position of authority. Now, it's someone who's very affectionate and very openly uh, affectionate and proud of their children, okay? But it talks about someone perhaps coming in who's willing and able to help you. Or perhaps this is you and perhaps you're wanting to help someone in your life who wants to start something new. Now, I keep getting, I don't know why I keep getting this, but every single time I do a reading for Aquarius, I get this. Now, I can't remember if it was in last, uh, in the month of November that the reading I did for them, but 
It talks about starting a business, and it talks about starting a business that is dealing with, um, <laughs> sorry, my camera's just kind of all over the place. So it, it talked about starting a business with perhaps someone um, at a distance, but it's almost like a whole bunch of stuff. To, so let's say you're wanting to start a business and you're wanting to, um, an example would be maybe um, build a retirement home or build a, um, a respite home for someone, okay? And it's almost like there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of give and take. There's a lot of energy like moving back and forth, okay? And so it's like people are coming in and people are going out. And there's somebody in your life who's going to help you manifest this dream. So it's a business that you want to start. Maybe you're wanting to start a home for older people, right? Maybe a, an elder home of sorts, okay? Or a respite home or a home for... Um, you know, recovering from cancer, okay? Things like that. Some type of home that's going to um, accommodate other people's needs, perhaps in a health uh, or a spiritual aspect of their life. Maybe, um, what is that called? The last, you know, the last phase in your life, the last part of the journey. So, I mean, it's almost like you're developing something creatively that is going to benefit other people in a very spiritual but very um, grounded way, okay? <clears throat> and it talks about someone who's going to bring these things together for you. Someone you're, you're possibly going to be starting a business with a fire sign individual, a female, because it is a female energy. And it's someone who is very creative and very nurturing and knows how to get um, from one step to the next. Okay, they have that detailed plan in their mind. And so perhaps they're talking to you and they're saying to you, okay, I'm ready to run with this. I'm ready to run with this. I have all the plans set up. I have all the funding set up. Are you, do you want to, do you want in on this? And you're having to give them an answer very quickly. And so that's what I'm seeing take place here in that last week of October, 2022 is it's possibly you're moving forward on this uh, business endeavor quickly. It's not, there's no more thinking process. There's no more planning process. You're ready. Whoever this person is, this fire sign individual, they're ready to move to that next step. Now, whether that be in a relationship, whether it be in starting a business, I mean, you know, having a, a new relationship and, and um, moving in with someone is basically like the same thing. It's like there's a lot of things that you have to focus on, okay? You have to uh, be able to relate to the other person. You have to be able to relate to their belief system, their spiritual values, and provide that um, that respect back and forth, okay? So it is a process. It is a process. And having a business with someone, <clears throat> I mean, it could be a family or uh, a family situation where you're getting into business with a family member and you're having to look at all the dynamics in that relationship, okay? But it could also be where you're just joining with someone who's a mentor and they're ready to run with this project. And indeed, you know, Aquarius, you weren't really sure if you were ready for it, but it's kind of telling you that, yeah, yeah, you know what? now's the time so it is talking about you um moving forward but now this person is going to bring the right people the right ideas the right uh you know if you need materials whatever right they're going to bring all those things into existence for you so you can indeed move forward in this project and they're going to give you encouragement and they're going to influence you and they're going to you know give you a bit of a break if you've been trying to do this or maybe it's your idea and you're trying to develop it and this person's going to give you a break and say okay listen you know what i'm tired of watching you struggle i'm going to help you and it might be a person in a position of power somebody who has a lot of prowess or funds behind them okay but it does predict success and it is going to go it is going to be be a very positive thing for you and it's going to be very lucrative but more than that it's going to give you that spiritual balance that you've been looking for and it's almost like you want to do this based on the fact maybe you knew someone who was dealing with these type of issues, okay? Dealing with health issues or dealing with, um, you know, not being able to find respite or um, elder care, whatever it may be, okay? And maybe that person um, kind of put the idea in your head that, you know, you should start this type of business. You could do this. You could do this, right? And so they put that idea in your head and now you're running with it. And, you know, it, it looks like um, it's going to be a very positive, successful uh, situation. But it does mean that you're going to have to move. It talks about you either moving. It, it does have trees, a lot of trees and mountainous areas and water. Okay. So maybe you're moving to the country or maybe you're moving out of country. Maybe you're moving to a new country, to a new area altogether. Okay. Now there is someone 
in your life, okay, who is trying to kind of put a kibosh on this, trying to put a limit on it, trying to say, okay, I don't think you have what it takes business-wise to do this. And you know, here's the fact. The fact, in, the fact is that if you need experience in business, you can take a course. You can take a course while you're developing your business, okay? It can be a learn-as-you-go situation. A lot of people have done it. I know people who didn't even have a grade eight and they had very successful businesses right up until they passed in their 80s, 90s. So I'll tell you something, okay? There is no such word as can't. So just pull your shit together, get it together. And if this is something that you want to develop or you want to move forward on, do it because you do have the support behind you in that last week of October, 2022. So I shall see you in November. Take care and namaste.